Wicket one. Just helps it on its way to the, the fielder at Gali. A very fine delivery. That was short to uh, Kushal Janit. They realized that Kushal Janit usually gets on the front foot, but just uh, really didn't uh, get close enough and get over it. And a very easy catch. Couldn't get his timing right. Kusal Pereira gone without scoring. Sri Lanka one down for six. Helped on its way. Bus runs for Tilakaratna Dilshan after the break. Dilshan is an orthodox player. You can't really set fields for that short, but he just gets that toppish edge and that uh, goes over the slip court. Intentional from Tilakrat and Dilshan. And again, cramped for room, just like Kusal Pereira. You can see that ball coming back into the right-hander. Four more. He really puts the bowlers to the test, Dilshan. That was short. In fact, I think he was trying to get it higher than that. Disappointed with that delivery, but Dilshan, how quickly he latches on to it. So the margin of error to him is very, very little. Edge, and he gets his man this time, Finn. Graham for room to look at Nadil Shan. That was an excellent delivery, really. It was uh, not that short, it was uh, the length which uh, one really found it difficult to try and force it square off the wicket. Tilakaratna Dilshan really didn't have any space at all, just got the thinnest of edges and a good catch taken by the wicket keeper straight forward, but these are the catches that have to be taken. Tilakaratna Dilshan goes for 23. Sri Lanka loses second wicket for 30. Well, that's another wicket, another short delivery just outside uh, off stump. Big wicket for England, good catch as well by Jordan, who was just slightly wider of uh, first slip, and it's a big wicket, big wicket. Kandambi is the one who goes. It's, uh, well, it's a pretty ordinary shot, to be honest. Uh, it's a shortish ball, he knows there's a slip fielder there. He's tried to run it, and Chris Jordan does not drop those, which is pigeons. Kandambi has to go for naught. And can get back into this, 31 for three. Edged away, no slip in place. Jordan walks away in disgust. Cook for a while, had a catcher there. Not this one. There was some pace and bounce from Jordan. Angelo Matthews. Bit lucky they are playing away from his body. No slip in place. Definitely playing away from his body, pushing at it. That ball finding the outside edge. But well wide of the keeper in the end, a very safe shot. Big shot. Beautiful shot from Sangakara. Aggression. Couple of bounces. Anchor on the charge. He was waiting for that one. After a few short ones, after going backward of a length, Finn has always gone full. Sangakara was waiting for that. He knew there's one that's going to be pitched up. Just hit through the line. Outstanding batting from Sangakara. But he'll clear uh, Long on who's up in the circle, and this will go for a boundary. Sri Lanka in a strong position, 118 for three. Oh, big switch is asking the question. And Chris Jordan, on his return, has got a wicket. Angelo Matthews is caught behind. It's a big wicket. And that's what England wanted. And Matthews goes. 
totally out of character, Matthews. is someone who's uh, shepherded these innings through together with uh, Sangakara. But just look at that shot. Head up in there and was looking to go right over the stands, one would imagine. Chris Gordon, he's delighted. This is a big wicket as uh, Matthews departs for 37. Sri Lanka 118 for four. Now on 50, he's 89th half century in one day cricket and uh, add to his 19 uh, ODI hundreds. Yes, Sagakara has been um, really the rock in the Sri Lankan batting. Easy, very easy shot by one of the best players in this form of the game. Chris Jordan around the wicket. Length ball just outside off stump and it's a swing of his arms just over mid on. He's looking dangerous, Sangakara, 57 from 59, six fours. Well, he has got him out, slower delivery. The field was set on the leg side. Jordan changed the angle and went over the wicket and England needed this wicket and it's that man Sangakara. Good thinking from Chris Jordan, he held his nerve, he's been clattered a couple of times, 4-4-2 before this wicket delivery, it's a slower ball. Just rolls his finger down and Moin Ali is at mid on, nice easy pouch. Dangerous, dangerous player Sangakara. That's just what England wanted, get the danger man out. Another wonderful innings, memorable innings, 63. 63, my word. 150 for five. Big reverse sweep. Big area out there. Calculated risk, and it's uh, come off for Sri Lanka. There you see your runner ball and the boundary. And you're going along nicely at eight and nine and over. Great catch, great catch by Stephen Finn. He was brought up into the circle. Mendes, who tried to go up and over, and England will be happy with that wicket. Well, it's another timely wicket for England, although Sri Lanka are going along at 6.1 and over. And this is a six wicket. Mendes was looking threatening. Was on the sweep to Joe Root and Stephen Finn, an acrobatic catch there going to his left. It's still a competitive game, is this. Joe Root picks up his first wicket in his first over. Mendes has gone for 12, it's 175 for six. That's his own. If you bowl there, he'll put you into the stands. Cracky. What a difference between the, the first two balls and the way he plays on the front foot going through the line of the ball. Shaking the head from Chris Wokes because he's probably saying to himself, why did I bowl it in his half? And when you do bowl it in his half, you may well get whacked like that. 200 up for Sri Lanka. But good awareness from Pereira. Impressed. Goes again and make that eight dismissals off the short ball. Juggling out from <laughs> Moeen Ali, but safe enough in the end. Yeah, it took him uh, the frustration really from the previous delivery to go back to the short ball. And uh, problems continue for Tassara Pereira with the short ball. Quite sure what to try and do in the end. It was an ugly heave leg side and a simple catch. So dangerous he is, but dangerous he won't be tonight. He's gone for eight from ten, 202 for seven. Nicely played. 50 for Tirimana. 10th 50 and a quality one of 39 balls. Yeah, I had a good time. 
some debate about whether they're going to get to 200 and whether they're going to get to 230. Well, they're marching now towards 230, 240, thanks to Tiramani. Six gets off the mark with a huge six, Damika Prasad. Big outfield too, so it uh, had to hit the middle of the bat, and that's exactly what it does. And the moment it struck the bat, it was always going. I think it's mowing Ali out in the deep, no chance. But not easy bowling uh, the last overs, really, of an innings when you're just a part-time bowler, but uh, the captain feels that he's a better option than Ben Stokes. Goes again. And another six. So good finish to the over from Sri Lanka's point of view. Dalmika Prasad, back to back sixes. And he's lost his wicket. He had no option really. But you'd take it. 21 off 8. He'll take it all right. 21 off 8. He's put a real dent into England's hopes. They were hoping, I think, to keep Sri Lanka to around about 220. It's an excellent bit of bowling, a slow ball, I think, out the back of the hand. Good stumping from Josh Butler, but uh, some excellent work from Prasad. 21 from just 8, 233 for 8. Herat has a swing, loses his back. And lacks the awareness to come back for two. 242 for eight, then Sri Lanka's effort. Lahiru Tirimana playing a blinder. 62 or 47. I think it's going to be 236 is what we're hearing. 236 is going to be the target for England to chase down. That's, of course, been done with Lewis. Down the ground, four more. Well, again, this is an excellent shot from Cook. Having played one through extra cover, mid-off has gone wider. He's able to pick his spot here from a half volley straight down the ground. No swing for Matthews. He sliced it. And that might go all the way. For six of the innings for England. Well, he's a slight man, but a flick of the wrist here for Moin Ali. Just a touch of width outside off stump. Oh, you'll see this flashing blade. Oh, he gets the width that he wants. It goes over the top, all the way. Six. Another big over for England. Yes. That brings up the 50 partnership and that uh, Mo Moinali, he does pack a punch when he really hits the ball. Bludgeons it away. It's the meat of the blade. Sweet strike. Sounded magnificent as soon as he did. Well, he goes downtown. Tilikaratni Dilshan has gone for six. Who smashes that? Not a flight of delivery, use his feet. And again, showing that he is in very good nick. He's in no spin at all. In fact, the ball just holding up a little bit, but. Uh, coming through straight and gave him a, a free hit virtually. Big wickets, big wicket for Sharanka. Angelo Matthews cannot do anything wrong. Well bowled, Damikas Prasad. They needed that wicket and it is the England captain, Alistair Cook. Well, he looked good, Alistair Cook, for the first time on this tour. 
Well, the third umpire is going to check the front foot, but Alistair Cook should be disappointed. He had a good start. He was looking solid. Some of those the drives were excellent. Did come off the middle of the bat. But let's take a look at where Damika Prasad's front foot is landing. I think he's all right. He's, he's well in. I think he, he's, he's perfect. There's no problem with that. So, well, Sri Lanka have struck. They needed that because good catch by Sakakara, two-handed. And uh, Angelo Matthews' bowling change has worked. England captain goes for 34. They're 84 for one. Fifty again from Owen Ali. Twenty-nine balls. His tour goes on and on. Remember, his first game, his twenty came, his fifty came off twenty-one balls. The first One Day International, twenty-five balls, and this one, twenty-nine deliveries. So, third One Day fifty. Outstanding effort by Moin Ali at the top of the order. Down the wicket. And all the way, Moin Ali again. His fifth six. Well, they seem to be enjoying it, but Ajanta Mend is looking to throw it up a little bit. And Moin Ali saw it. An extra flight, just giving him the impetus to come down the pitch and go over the top. And those shots have really been effective. Oh, there'll be a run out. And it'll be Moen Ali. Alex Hales just turned his back, and this could be a turning point. Big wicket, run and head at the fieldsman, but that is a decisive wicket. Well, let's take a look at Kumar Sangakkara. Run and head at the picking it up, and Sangakkara had to come running in. Good work, look at the work, he just whipped the bales off on the run. Good work by the wicketkeeper and a decisive wicket. Now that's the type of wicket Sri Lanka wanted. You needed something special from the fielders and that was provided. Moin Ali goes run out for 58, England 103 for two. Ah, this is uh, swung down to its fine leg, it's gone all the way for six. It's a short delivery and Alex Hales was on top of it. Now shots like this will reduce the pressure. Yeah, just remember that he's already had uh, Hales dropped uh, two balls before and this one goes all the way. And this time he's gone and Alex Hales well being snapped by Ajanta Mendes at mid on. Now that's another wicket England could have done without. Hales was missed by Tirimana, then a six, and then a fairly straightforward, simple catch to mid on, looking to charge Angelo Matthews. Poor shot selection by Alex Hales here, He'd done all the hard work, he got it, had a chance already, this over. Decided that uh, Angelo Lou Matthews was the man to get over. But, uh, he goes to uh, 27. He'll be disappointed. England 144 for three. Oh, great shot! Great shot by Bopara. He is a man in form. Down the pitch he came and brings up the 150 in style. Good shot. Good timing. You could see that he is in very good form. That's about hitting ones and twos, just hit it straight out of the ground. Oh, that time he's gone. He is gone. Good work by Sangakara. Great anticipation. I think he was looking to play that sweep shot. He was shaping to play the sweep shot. And Sangakkara's anticipation was outstanding. Well, Rabi Bupara should consider himself unlucky. But look at the work, look at the work by the wicketkeeper. He was shaping to play that shot. And Sangakkara was in the perfect position to take that catch. 
big wicket. Big wicket, they'll be disappointed. Bo Parra, who was given a warning in the second one day to international at Colombo. He goes to six. England in trouble, 151 for four. Oh, that is Sapish. There is a fieldsman getting underneath it, and that's another one. This Sara Pereira is the fieldsman. Well, England losing wickets far too regularly at this stage. Three quick wickets now. Shot selection again from the England batsman. Poor decisions being made here. First Alex Hales, then Ravi Bopar, and now Owen Morgan just come to the crease. Field set for the short delivery. Easy catch for Pereira, and the crowd go wild. And once again, the best captain in the world, Angelo Matthews, gets a wicket. Morgan goes to one. England now collapsing, 152 for five. Again, it's in the air, but this time it's plucked out of the sky. Simple catch. Cusel Pereira takes the simple catch, and it's Joe Root who uh, is the man to be dismissed. Well, he's furious himself, and so he should be. Should really have let the power hitting to the man at the other end. Just hit the six. Nothing wrong really with getting one and getting the power man down on strike. In the end, a simple catch from Cusel Pereira. Now then, now then, now then. I think he's going to get away with it. I think that's going to be a judge to no ball. So Joe Roo, I think, is going to get lucky and is going to have another go. Well, he is going to get lucky for two reasons. It will be probably called a no ball, and it will be a free hit as well. So the umpire will have to change his decision, and it is given a no ball. And just wait, it will be given a free hit. The sign the bowler doesn't want to see. He's been brilliant, uh, Damika Prasad, he'll be disappointed with that. He doesn't get all of this, he'll only get a one. Full toss. And it's put away, timed beautifully by Joss Butler. And this over gets better and better for England. Yeah, he's got so much power. Just opens the face, I think, at the last minute, just to find the gap. There you see, such good wrists. Down the wicket. And we'll go all the way. Big shot by Joe Root. England so close to victory here in Hambantota, and they have deserved it. Anything you can do, Joss, I can do just as well. Not known for his big hitting down the ground, but finds the middle of the bat. England almost there now, then. So just one required. Big victory for England. Very big partnership between uh, Joss Butler and Joe Root sees England over the winning line. 84 from 64, that's what it means to them. They knew they had to win this game to stay in the series. Well, they have today. Great game of cricket.